be live? That is the question. Are we getting there? We're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Ah, I smell it. I smell the taste and the fear of Chicho. Welcome to the Chicho. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do we have here, friends? Welcome to an early morning edition of the Black Point Chicho, guys. My name is Alfred Martin. If you've never watched a stream, then uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you haven't been seduced by this boat ramp because everyone falls victim to Black Point Marina and the Chicho. So. Looks like the guys here at Suntech slash loggerhead slash whatever you want to call it nowadays. Hopefully we get some verification of what they're going to call this place now. But yeah, we're live, guys. This is happening as it's happening. So um, if there's any haters of mine in the area, please don't come by. And I wanted to get some launches and I'm doing some camera testing as well. I hope you guys are excited about... Uh, an interesting fight that's going on. This might not be as time you see it, but uh, there's a fight between Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather today. And the question is, who's gonna win? I mean, on paper, it's a no-brainer, right? On paper, it's a no-brainer, but, 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 that can be the biggest wait for it ever, right? So, could you imagine a YouTuber knocking out probably the world's greatest fighter i don't know why floyd would have risked doing this i mean well i know why 100 mil maybe two 200 mil i mean that would motivate anybody right but uh it's gonna be interesting guys because all it takes is that one punch and those of you guys that are old enough remember when That's you first you when you first saw buster douglas beat mike tyson i remember guys i was i was a young kid oh no no no, no, oh no. I, was, I thought it was going to be some Barcelo music, but he quickly adjusted in the contender. Um, so, yeah, when, when everybody in the world was watching Buster Douglas actually beat Mike Tyson, everybody was like, hell no. Nah. And that's when, that's when people said, we can probably go to Mars one day. You know, that made people believe in things. So, I don't know, guys. It's going to be interesting. I don't know if you guys saw the craziness that happened with his brother at the weigh-in. And then he got punched in the face by Floyd. It was, it's, it's getting real. I think they're setting it up so there could be another fight between Mayweather and, and Jake Paul later, right? Let's see who's in the chat, guys. We got Jeremy watching from Germany. Teresa's in the house. What's up, guys? Eddie's here. Where's our first ramp champ? <laughs> Guys, this is live and this happened, guys, unedited. And uh, I've been doing some testing on another camera. Well, the same camera that you guys saw me using last time, but I think I got it dialed in. And uh, I really like the look that it's giving. So this is also a new camera and it's, it's very good as well. So, but, but I think the other setup and the way that I'm configuring it is it's even better, right? So, but look, look at this one. This one's kind of, look, look how, look how, look how the zoom, zoom, zoom on this is, right? Uh, Michigan's in the house. Don Palmer, Mike Keller, Baby Computer, Adventures of Gonzo. Dimelo, good morning, guys. I already have my Cuban coffee and a pastelito in the morning. So I'm making sure that I maintain my 225 completely shredded figure. Oh boy, oh no. What is this, guys? What is this? What is this nonsense? We for it. Nah, he's like, hell no, nah, Alfred's, Alfred's. Oh, is he coming to us? Alfred's streaming, I'm out of here. It's high tide, guys. People are launching out. Uh, it looks like some people are just hung over from the last uh, major weekend, which was Memorial over here, guys, which was, whew, you guys saw that week. We had, uh, we had the Chris Riballo. We, we had a lot of interesting footage there. Speaking of Chris Riballo, I hope you guys saw the, uh, the latest top 10 video. There's so much more, guys. Those of you guys that have been watching the channel for a while, 
were asking me, what about the Dock Destroyer? And guys, I can't put it all in one video, but look at Noel. Noel throwing a $25 banger. Thank you so much, Noel. Um, guys, so I did finally get the Chicho hats. Um, I got a very small quantity. And, um, but it's something that I'm gonna have accessible. So those of you guys that follow the Chicho and you wanna have like a, oh boy, we gotta start up. So those of you guys that follow the Chicho, you'll have uh, access at some point to the uh, Chicho hat. So normally, normally I put those on my website, which would be uh, luxuryribtenders.com. That's luxury rib, R-I-B, tenders. And, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I think I've shared them on my Instagram. So um, I have a pretty interesting, I'm going to say I have a pretty interesting Instagram because, you know, it's really, it's a lot more unfiltered. So you guys get to see a little bit more of my thinking. I play the devil's advocate, guys. I'll be straight up, you know. I play both sides. I'm just trying to get a heartbeat from you guys. But yeah, it's uh it could get a little wild. It's uh, my also is luxury rib tenders as well. So if you go to IG and you see luxury rib tenders, that'll be my um, Instagram. Right now, there's got to be people saying, "Hey, I see you at the boat ramp." Don't tell me you're not, bro. You didn't invite me. What is this, bro? I've been getting a lot of uh, actual chit show moments from you guys at your own boat ramps. So a lot of you guys have been <laughs> sending me stuff, which I love, guys. I love it. When you guys send me stuff and uh, you guys will send it to my Instagram and uh, I'll, re I'll re-forward it, you know? Especially when you guys are like chit show or wait for it and I'll hashtag it and show it to my feed or my stories. Oh boy, this C pros. This is a candidate, guys. This is a hero. Look, we have. Here's the hero, how, how, right? So you you have the the ladder down, right? So that means it came in hauling ass the whole time while they were out on Biscayne Bay. We might get sh shot killed, but I I have a little sliver. Oh boy, and the wind is picking up, guys. This wait for it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He got it, he got it. I think he got it. Yeah, he got it. Wait, wait. Wait for it. Nah, it's slow tide, guys. It's slow tide. So what happens on the weekends? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's going the opposite direction. Wrong way. Uh oh, he lost it. He lost it, guys. He lost it. He should have the engine the other other way. But but he's got a friend. This is why you have a friend. Uh oh, we got we got we got an, an accident about to happen. Oh boy. Wait for it. What's going on, guys? You guys are live on YouTube right now. Oh, open up my app. You'll see it on YouTube. It's so funny. <laughs> you hear them? There he is right there. <laughs> guys, so there's like a lot of you guys that are coming out here to Black Point because of all the filming and all the crazy stuff that goes on here. And uh, I'll tell you, if you guys stick around by the fillet table, maybe you haven't seen a manatee, you'll see a manatee. Um, you got to wait around. If you wait around long enough, you might see Fred the Croc. Fred the Croc is a star over here. Actually, he's he's the star of uh, he's the star of the Chicho. I don't know. He's been kind of lost lately. I had a conversation with him. He wants a raise. He's like Alfred. I I can't be working for what you're paying me. And I'm like, dude, you know, what do you want me to do, bro? So yeah, he's he's acting a little shy lately. Hopefully, at some point he'll come back. But he's around. Trust me, he's around, guys. If I jump in, 100%, he'll uh, he'll devour me. He's got he's gonna have a lot of churrascos that he's gonna take out too. Because damn, let's see what's going on in the chat. So what I was gonna tell you guys is, 
these people are typically going to like Elliot Key, there's a sandbar called Sands Key, which is not far from Boca Chita. Boca Chita is really nice. And, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, all right, guys, so listen, I want to give a shout out to some, some people and some companies that always help me out, especially you guys that are watching um, locally. Unlimited Trailer, tr uh, Freddy's Trailer Rescue. Those guys, when you guys break down, they cover all of Miami. Between those two companies right there, guys, you guys will have coverage when you break down in the middle of, of your experience. And uh, you're going to the boat ramp, you think everything's good, and all of a sudden you lose an axle. And you're like, damn, how'd I lose an axle? How crazy would it be if we got a bloop, 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 live? That'll be horrible. Oh. See, at that point, it'll be, that'll be a nightmare scenario. Got another little formula coming out right now. It's crazy how there's 200 and something people here just chilling over here watching the chit show. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's so funny, man. Um, this is a lot of kids, guys. A lot of kids that watch the chit show. And uh, I'm mindful of that. So how and what I do is obviously important, you know. As a creator, I can actually, you know, I can cross the line, but I, I don't, you know, I don't. I try to keep it as family friendly as possible, but at the same time, still be edgy, you know. And it's a hard balance. It's a hard balance. We got this guy coming in. Let's see what happens here. 339 people here. Do we have 339 likes? Oh boy. What 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 do we got over there? So somebody's screaming over there. Back there. What was he screaming about? He sounded concerned. That's the the guy that was back there with the uh, with the ladder. Was, was it, oh no, that's another boat. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Here, here this, this, these trucks right here, these trucks are perfect candidates for bloop, 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 bloop. And here's why, let me tell you why. Let's see if we can zoom in on the, on the, on the wheels. Not on the wheels, on the tires. Wait for it. All right, so typically what happens is these tires are like sometimes very expensive. So people will just go ahead and ride them out before they lose their thread. And uh, you know, they actually, they actually make a lot of road noise because they're off-road tires and then all of a sudden they get balls and then the owner of the truck realizes how cool it is to not hear everywhere they go. So they're like, damn, I kind of like this. But uh, it makes them bald and slippery. And these ramps are very slick, guys. If you haven't seen the Chit Show, you got to see the Chit Show. Uh, there's a playlist on YouTube for all the crazy stuff that we've done. Damn, there's 410 likes in here? Oh, no, that's not likes. My bad. That was, uh, that was 410 people. Damn. Uh, blackouts in the house. Iggy. T uh, Ted Bell. Robert Webb, it's a Ram. I don't know, guys. Hey, comment below if you're uh, if you're a truck guy or girl. Uh, comment if you. Oh, look at this fountain, bro. Oof, look at this. Wow, that is nice. That is nice. I like. Wow, look at this monster fountain, bro. Wow, very nice. Oh my God, this is a beast. 
So you don't see monsters like this coming out of Black Point, guys. That is a monster, bro. You know what? I haven't done a video uh, sea trial on my channel with Fountain yet, bro. And they're such cool people. Um, you have a question, even if you're not, you know, a part of their, I, I guess, family, you know, when you have... I remember doing a, a restoration on YouTube for a, a fountain and I called them up. They're like, yeah, whatever you need, whatever advice, da da da. And I've done a couple of walkthroughs at the shows, but I definitely would love to get on one of those. Ooh, starting to get packed. You got some overcast clouds, but nothing too, too crazy. Five hundred and seven people, guys, making a scene in here, bro. Oh, like I was going to say, what do you guys... Oh, boy, those kids better move. Oh, man. Those people better move, bro. Um, so comment below. Dodge, Ford, or Ram, or Honda. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, not Honda. Uh, uh, Nissan, right? Uh, I'm curious to see what trucks you guys like. So comment that below. I want to see exactly what you guys like uh, using. I mean, I've seen them all struggle, guys. The one I'm actually excited about is, uh, is the Tesla truck. I'm really excited about that. Just want to see how that thing just comes to the boat ramp one day and just starts electrocuting, <laughs> electrocuting the whole boat ramp when it goes in. Bloop, 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 bloop. How crazy is that, huh? The technology is out of this world of what's happening. So yeah, I know there's a lot of people already have them on pre-order and there's now a new electric uh, Ford truck that looks badass. That's a badass boat. I likes a lot. Let's see if we get the startup on this bad boy. Quad 400 Mercury R's racing. All right, guys, I just pinned Blackout's message, all right, because, uh, yeah, that helps, guys. Look, you guys, you saw how, when you, when you saw that this was happening, oh, there it goes, there's the startup. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> That's what a lot of women say, guys. They don't tell you, they don't say it out loud, but they say that, they're like, damn, that was quick, That's it? Damn, babe, I have... I just, I just wanted to get a sandwich now, you know? It's, it's been a long day. You women, you women. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the Chit Show over here and my channel, Alfred Montaner, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe before you get out of here. And I'll tell you, binge watch the Chit Show playlist. You guys are gonna love it. And then you'll, you'll start talking to people and be like, yo, <laughs> oh boy. Damn, I'm in the water, bro. This sucks. You'll see this uh, sea fox that has been coming out. The tree of death, guys, is still the tree of death. It's growing. It's it's getting bigger, unruly. We 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 don't even talk. We don't even. We're not even civil anymore, guys. Like off camera, I start insulting the tree of death. Um, but listen. He was here first, so I gotta respect that. I'm a visitor here. Little sea fox is going out. A lot of times in the morning, guys, you'll get these bikers over here, and um, they they park at Black Point. They park in a section, and they just start uh, riding bikes. And you know, not not, not nothing against boxers, uh, bikers, but you know, average people hate you. you I, I hope you guys know this, because imagine they own the road. 
They're on the road. Uh, we have literally a whole bike lane, a bike section. I mean, you can write everybody, every biker's name on there and they still just hog up the road, so. But having that said, guys, always stay clear from them and make sure that they're safe because reality, we need more watchers on this channel and they possibly watch. So smash that like or dislike, uh, bikers. That's just crazy, bro. I'm scared to do road biking because of that, because of people like me and you. Because here, let's be real, right? Even the bikers, when they're actually not biking, they're like, damn, bro, this guy's on the road, bro. Get off the road, bro. Speaking of, I've been, I've been actually triggered that thought of me teaching Aiden how to, uh, to operate a vehicle. He, he got his a learner's permit. So, and uh, that's always interesting. Oh man, dude, it was crazy. I wanted to go live yesterday. So, you know, Logan Paul is in the house, guys. Floyd Mayweather is always in Miami. But Logan Paul, Jake Paul, a lot of YouTubers are down here because of this boxing match that's going to happen tonight. Comment below who you think is going to win. Because I'll tell you right now. If Floyd Mayweather loses to a YouTuber, his whole legacy, everything that he's worked for is over. Um, now, he'll have maybe 300 mil in the blank and then be like, whatever, bro. I stayed just so I could fight his brother. You could try to spend that all you want. But if that happens tonight, guy, because the fight is tonight, um, dude, Logan Paul better, like, he just go into a black hole for a couple of months because the chit show that's going to be happening behind the scenes is going to be intense. The whole gotcha moment, gotcha hat. All that, that's been a crazy debacle with his brother that if you didn't see it, Google it or YouTube it. Jake Paul went ahead and was in front of uh, Mayweather and they were doing the whole marketing gig and all that. So all of a sudden, Jake Paul disrespected Floyd Mayweather and took his hat and he said, got your hat. <laughs> so think about it. It's just, it's something so dumb, but it's like, got your hat. And, and the, like, like, two, like two minutes later on his... On his feed, he went ahead. He went ahead and put merch for Gotcha Hat. So, and here, here's the thing, right? Everybody wants to see Floyd May Mayweather lose, not because they don't like the guy, and it's because he's always won, right? And everybody wants to see somebody take down somebody that talks shit all the time. That's just the way it is, right? Like, you're supposed to build somebody up so you can break him down, and then. So they're like, it's just human nature that people have that. Like, yo, you got to lose, bro. Tyson lost. But let me tell you guys, if he loses to a YouTuber that's like 0-2 maybe or 0-1. But he's an interesting guy. Whew, that's going to be epic. I can't wait to see what happens. Moscara in the house, guys. Chicho Squad in the house. Who's, who's here from the Chicho Squad? Um... Fred is not in the neighborhood right now, guys. If you see him, wow. I definitely want to see this fountain leave. And it looks like they're about to leave. So yeah, so wh why I was saying that whole Logan Paul thing is I took Aiden with me. You know, those of you guys that watch my walking tours, I took Aiden with me to Hard Rock guitar the hard rock guitar yesterday and i you know i brought a camera because you know i like to push the envelope a little bit and i kind of like minimalized it i still the minute i walked in security goes security hi sir you know you can't film in here right i go no really you gotta be kidding me um what made what what made me think that uh, maybe the thousand million cameras you have following me so yeah, it's security is really tight, guys. So be mindful of that uh, if you're going to film. Now, I, I did, after the fact, find out that there is a process that maybe they'll, they'll let you film in there. But I didn't think it was as strict as it was. And I wasn't even filming, like, somebody lo losing their life savings or anything like that. So it was just I wanted to show the entrance to the guitar 
um, which if you haven't seen the Hard Rock Hotel guitar, you guys got to see it. Google that. It's, it's basically a hotel that's the shape of a guitar and they light it up at night and it's absolutely beautiful. You'll see it often when you're coming down the Florida Turnpike. If you're coming down the Turnpike in Miami or South Florida, um, it's, a, it's an awesome entrance to South Florida, you know? You see that big old guitar? Oh boy, what the hell happened here? Oh boy. This guy's a little. Oh boy. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. Oh, we got a sentry. Oh my God, we got a sentry. Those sentries always do us good, bro. Wait for it. This overcast uh, weather is not looking too good. Oh boy. All right, the tide is starting to come down a little bit, guys. That's That's favorable for for a lot of things. Some people will be coming back that have stayed Friday and Saturday at places like Boca Chita and uh, camped at Elliot. Even though right now is the time of year that we start getting some, um, we start getting some, some bugs, right? So it happens, you know? Bugs need a life too. Black Point Nalga edition. Look at this. Nalga means booty. Look at this Donzi. Dude, let me tell you guys, I'm really happy to say this is the most live people that we've ever had at any given moment on our channel. So I want to really thank you guys. We've had 820 people in here right now, guys. And uh, thank you. So if you guys are all subscribers, you know, you're a part of the family. And if you're just new or coming in, welcome. And, uh, you know, the bill will be in the mail. <laughs> now... I'm just kidding, everybody's clicking off. Guys, YouTube is free. Oh, somebody just started something up. Oh, that 300 just started. We know a little bit of something about those 300s, do we? So yeah, um, thanks for, for the love, guys. Going on over here oh there's a chicho oh no damn you see the tree of death strikes again guys the tree of death strikes again so here's what was going on over here this uh young lady was stepping on the on the engine to bring the trim down so it looks like the trim is not going down we'll see what happens i guess i'm gonna have to tell you what's going on because the tree of death is 
is making a scene. But yeah, it's it's on. It's just not going down. Oh, somebody's explaining what's going on, what she has to do. Damn, bro. Oh, the dreaded tree of death. Strikes again. That category seven hurricane automatically comes to Black Point. Category 10, bro. Category 10. We just need category 10 right here. Just in this little block. Just rocks and water and the dock. That's all we need. Wait for it. Stu R. Cafecito fun, baby. Oof. I'm going to go head up the bakery after I get out of here, guys. And, and um, I still have other footage that I have yet to... to uh, upload guys i've been really really busy and you know sometimes we have to do the the family bit but what i will tell you is um i want to go ahead and start doing some other ramps in some of the places that you guys recommend it doesn't necessarily need to be florida so i mean i'm willing to get thrown out of places so let's do this and like i said guys if you're just coming into the stream my 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 instagram is luxury rib tenders on IG if you guys want to send me something the only thing I request is that it's yours and you don't share it with anybody else right because I don't like to go ahead and post things or see things or share things that are not mine or given to me so I just don't like that right I like to create my own content but if you guys give me access to your content something that you film at your boat ramp that I think is interesting I'll make a I'll make a, a breakdown of it on, uh, on one of the chit shows. It's, it's easy to edit. Well, the only thing I would ask you to do is film it in portrait mode. Don't film it in vertical mode. Film it in portrait mode and you can send it to me at luxuryribtenders at gmail. And uh, if you send it there, I can uh, see it, use it. A lot of you guys have done that already. I've so, some, some content that, but I just don't want to get somebody that has you know, content and gives it to someone else before you know it. It's like in 50 different feeds. I don't like rolling like that. Typically, all the craziness happens now when people come back. Uh, yeah, guys, landscape, not portrait. That's important. Because what happens is on YouTube, since you guys are watching in landscape mode, it's gonna have those cropped out sides and it makes editing a mission. Alfred, you should ask one of the boaters to come by and trim the tree of death. Guys, you can't, you can't go ahead and trim. Um, it'll be a crime if you, if you do anything to, to the mangroves. So that's why it's there, but, but, um, I have seen it trimmed before, and at the same time I saw that trimmed, I saw that, that they trimmed the grass here, so it made me believe that it was the just regular maintenance that the park does. So I'm sure they have to do it at some point again, so hopefully we'll see what happens with that. But uh, they've done a lot in this uh, boat ramp, guys. Um, and they're doing it with limited funds, to be honest with you. So sometimes you guys are saying, hey, what about the poles and the post and the pole of faith? And there's just sometimes there's just no money for them to to do things. But they get donations from like like uh, the park manager or the or the park operator over here got a bunch of uh, old light poles and actually dug them into the ground with his staff, and they made the marina nicer. On the other side, you know, on the other side where where the people park and stuff and where the actual marina is for the boats. So it looks cool. Let me see what else is going on in this chat. Bro, this is crazy. There's 930 people making a scene in here, guys. That is crazy, bro. Damn, wow, you guys are awesome, bro. Damn, that is awesome. Um, if you saw the top 10 video that I just recently did, I did that video so you guys can share it with your friends and family. Um, 
because once they see that, that's just a taste of the craziness that happens here at Black Point. There's also news, new news. Oh, look, 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 wait, 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 hold on. What I was telling you earlier, bro, this is how you lose a foot, guys. Look, now the guy is pressing it down. Now he's pressing it down before the engine was on. That's the perfect way to lose a foot and a leg. Man, bro, let me tell you, whatever you do in life, guys, don't ever hurt your toes or drop a battery on your toes because trust me when I tell you, you will see God, you'll see the devil, you'll see everybody. Everybody you don't, you don't wanna see. <laughs> you're like, all right, God, I love you and everything, bro, but I wanna stay here. And the devil, you're like, yo, thanks, but no thanks. So guys, th this is gonna be a chicho and a half because they're gonna go out, they're determined to go out. So, so they're gonna be kicking up water moving forward because they can't bring that out drive down. So, I know guys, I know, but at some point they're going to have to move and they got a scruffy there. I don't know, maybe he barks once or twice, Fred shows up and I don't know. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So Southeast Texas. Uh, at the Gulf and uh, River, four more guys. All right, guys, how many likes do we have? I can't tell, guys, I can't tell. Can somebody put down below on the actual chat? Oh, I think I hear a boat coming in. Oh, it's, I think it's Captain Lance. Is it? Doesn't matter, all those guys are cool, bro. Uh-oh, wait for it. Another one bites the dust, ta -ta. Another one bites the dust. Let's see, let's see, wait for it, wait, wait, is he pulling somebody? No, he's not, is he? Damn, I can't tell. Let's see guys, let's see. Oh yeah, he is, yeah, he is, oh boy. Oh, you guys are seeing pros at work. Oh boy, oh boy, wait for it. Damn, that was pretty, uh, that was a pretty good workout. What happened, bro? What happened? You ran out of gas. What? The belt? But you got Tobo US, so you're fine, bro. Did you catch fish? So, oh, offshore? We were heading offshore, the base. All right, well, fix it and get back out on the water, bro. Chicho in the house. All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch Captain bring these guys back in. Guys, uh, towboat US. Um, look at that, he was, he was offshore. So guys, I'll be out here in South Florida and Miami on the on the south side, with the, which would this be considered the South Waters? Um, oh boy, this is not it. This is not easy today, guys. Um, it's far. It takes uh, maybe about seven or eight miles to go out there. Every time I see these guys do their job, it's always pretty impressive. So yeah, so it's far, so think about it. Right now you break down, you make a phone call, you get on the radio, you know, you say, hey bro, I have an issue. There he goes, now they should, they should have had their lines ready already, but they were talking to the guy in the mangroves. But there you go, like, just like that guys, they bring you back. So if you're a new boater, that's like one of the first things you should get. You should go ahead and have some insurance out on the water, which you get a little number, you know, you can get actually you can get actually towing assistance too if you have a problem. And companies like Unlimited Trailer Repair will come when they're called by Towboat US or Sea Tow or whoever they use. It's just something to have, especially if you don't want to be on a mission. You minimize your missions. Forget the stereo, forget DJO audio. 
Get the things first that make you a civilized person, okay? Like some assistance on the water so you don't, you know, jeopardize everybody. Hey, can you tow me in, you know? It sucks, guys. It sucks seeing people come in here that are towing somebody in because they don't have any insurance on the water. That was pretty impressive, guys. He's, he's in and out like the trash. Oh, whoa. what is going on here? Oh. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, he's got the engine down. It wasn't even down. Oh boy, wait for it. Damn, damn. How cool is that, huh? Damn, what is going on over here, bro? And this, this is, this is a chit show, guys. This is a chit show waiting to happen. Wait for it. I smell it, guys. I smell it. I smell it. This is going to be a candidate for president coming back. 2024, the hero, the Warcraft. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. Shh, shh. Oh, boy. Well. 980, are we gonna get to a thousand? Guys, I, I, tell me when it gets to a thousand. I just saw it. Uh, when it gets to a thousand, let me know because I wanna screen capture that. Come on, guys, come on. Yeah, look at that, oh, look at it. I, I screen captured it, there we go, guys. Soon we will be trending. <laughs> that is awesome, thank you so much, guys. That is so awesome. You see, guys, when you guys like the videos, it pushes it out on people's feeds more, you know? And, uh, oh boy, what is going on here? Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's gonna go and it's gonna dock itself to the other side. Wait for it. Welcome to the chit show. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, he's gonna fall in, bro. Oh boy, oh, oh, he's panicking. Uh oh, uh oh, get ready. Uh oh. Wait, uh oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Relax, relax. Take it easy, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Go hello, con take it easy, man. Oh, God. No, this is only gonna get better, bro. We have a kayaker in the background. Oh boy, this is only better. What's up, man? Going fishing? Have you seen the croc? Have you seen the crocodile? He's over there? Yeah? All right, guys. So the, the kayakers, they, they, they spot them first. They'll actually walk along the, the walls over here on the sides. And uh, they'll try to see where Fred the Croc is. And for those of you guys who don't watch the channel, we have a local 13, maybe 14 foot, nah, not 14, maybe 13 foot local crocodile that comes, hangs out here at the boat ramp and he stalks. Guys, when I mean stalks, he stalks the boaters, guys. And he just waits right behind your boat sometimes. Man, I've got him so many times doing it. It's crazy. Walter, hooking it up with a super chat. Thank you so much, Walter. Mr. City Sounds, hooking it up with a super chat. You guys are awesome, bro. AliX is in the house. AliX is a moderator, guys, so he has his own YouTube channel as well. He does a lot of, uh... oh, this is the boat. Look, this is the boat. This is the boat that had the problem with the, with the outtribe. Look, look, and they have, they have a rope right there. Dude, that's gonna get caught up. Oh boy. You see, that's a, that's a mistake, guys. You see that rope right here? See that, that can get caught up in your prop. If just the other side, and then all of a sudden, I don't know. We'll see what happens over here. It looks like they're gonna get some gas. But that's, they, they got the, the drive down. What is going on over there at, uh, at the marina? Because, oh boy.
Oh, I have been blasted again. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Margaret, help. They just threw $100 at me. Oh my God. You guys are crazy, bro. Thank you so much, Dale. Hey, um, guys, um, I will say this. Um, and look, there's, there's people that can support the channel. And I know because you guys send me emails. And uh, I just, I'm humbled to say thank you for all the times you guys have helped out the channel. And I tried to do everything in my power to reinvest it into the channel. And, uh, and not let my wife take it. Oh, no! <laughs> Miss Montaner is probably watching right now. Damn. Um, but thank you so much, Dale. And speaking of that, for instance, like I just spent some, some good money on some equipment to make the channel better. And, um, and if you can't donate, which I don't expect any donations and I, and I, I, I appreciate them uh, sincerely, but if you can't, and what you can do is something so simple, like, like sharing the video or liking the video guys, if you do those things, that's going to help me out incredibly. Um, because it shares it to more people and then they get binge, they start binging on all this content that you guys love, you know? So Dale, thank you so much, guys. Um, that's crazy, bro. You guys are... Oh, no! No, another one! Look at Daniel, guys. If you... Look at Daniel, bro. Daniel, what are you doing, bro? Daniel, how many boats have you sold, bro? Are you selling boats? All right, guys, so if you guys don't know who Daniel is... Daniel works with Tuppins Marine and he is the person responsible for getting me on all the boats, well him and Todd, on all the Solis cool boats that we've seen at the shows and we did a sea trial and awesome guy, young guy, ambitious guy. I would say he's good looking but he has his own channel so I don't want to prop him up too much, you know what I'm saying? Stop acting crazy Daniel, I know what you're doing over here. Dropping me a hundred to go ahead and get a thousand subscribers on your channel. Put it below. You might as well already. Guys, look, Daniel's going to put his YouTube channel below and uh, follow him because if you want Yamaha info and you want the updated information of what's going on on Yamaha, he knows a lot about Mercury too. But where I saw him excel was when he had the, when we went out on that, uh, which, which, I, the Solis, um, what is it, not the 345, what is the other, Daniel, what's the other boat called, dude, oh my god, I can't remember the name of it. Well, it was amazing what he knew about the vessel and about those engines, and now there's new Yamaha stuff coming out, so thanks so much, guys, that's crazy. You guys are nuts, bro. 41CS, there we go, that's what it, it is, and, and that day, it was a rough day, guys, and let me tell you, you gotta check out that boat. It's a badass boat. Solis makes, they're ahead of their, they're ahead of the game, right? Solis makes an incredible product, and you won't know it until you see it physically for yourself, and you're in it, and you look at all the details. See, anybody can build a boat, but not everybody can go ahead and build you a good boat. So, the details is what matters, the finish, you know, the foreshadowing of, problems that occur when you're an actual fisherman you know somebody who maybe is out on the water it's salty they they minimize a lot of those issues let's see what's going on over here this this guy still has some issues over here oh it's it started it started it started they're having an issue guys they're having an issue and they started it oh look we got a we got a coast guard helicopter flying above Um, they assume is non-ethanol. Oh, I, I guess you guys were talking about the, the price of, uh, okay, so they got that started. Damn, the tide is starting to come down a little bit, guys. So we're streaming here live on YouTube at Black Point Marina, if you just came in. These guys lost the belt going out offshore. They just got towed in. And uh, we got some boats coming in and out. All right, so so this family is starting to come in. 
Now, this is how the moments happen, guys. You know, you start, you have a little hiccup in the morning. It could be the best day ever, or it could be the worst day ever. So, but this is why you want to have like towboat US, sea tow, because the day of tomorrow, you don't know when you're going to need those guys. I'm surprised we haven't had more people coming in from uh, from the uh, sandbars or, or Elliot or or Boca Chita. This guy's been on for a while too. What's what's going on with him? I'm surprised I have I haven't seen the manatees coming up. Maybe it's early. Everybody's like, bro, what are you doing so up so early? Guys, if you just came into the stream, uh, Daniel and Dale Wilson. Daniel from Tuppence Marine just dropped a 99.9 .9, um, super chat. Dale one upped him by a penny. And, uh, and Alex Foguera is the moderator. And he's forbidden, forbidden to super chat me. So, because Alex, Alex has a goal to become a full time YouTuber. And I'm, I'm encouraging him to do that. But uh, it's hard to take the plunge, guys. It's hard to take the plunge. All right, guys, they're coming out. Let's see what happens here. They're, they're finally coming out. Let's see. Maybe I... Oh, boy. Wait for it. Nah, nah. They're good. They're good. Oh boy, did it shut off on him? Oh no. Oh no, there he goes, there he goes. I thought it shut off on him again. Guys, we still have 1K in the house. Uh, how many likes? Do we have a thousand likes already or no? That's gonna be pretty epic, guys. What a day, bro. You guys are awesome. Oh, speaking of awesome, there's gonna be a Mahi tournament that I will be attending uh, locally. And uh, I'm just telling all you fishermen down here that I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna bring it, bro. I am bringing it this time. I'm not worried about entertaining my audience and filming everything we do because every time we've done that tournament, it's always been a chicho. <sighs> the first year was a disaster. It was a, it was a nightmare. But let me tell you something. There's nothing better than fishermen during a tournament. You can, guys, you can be capsized in the middle of the ocean and there's a tournament going on. <laughs> The guys will be like, are you okay? You're like, yeah, bro, we need a hand. They're like, well, give me a second. I'll be back at four. Weigh-in is about in, in 30 minutes. Give me a minute. I'll go ahead and I'll call whoever you need. I go, bro, but we're sinking. Doesn't matter, bro. Give me a second. I got, I got a nice bag in here. So, yeah, um, don't trust firefighters when it comes to fishing tournaments, guys. Wow. I mean, I did everything. I did everything right. Th oh, boy. Oh, no. Is this the sailboat they got taken out? by the Robalo? Um, so yeah. And for the record, the, 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 the firefighters are just great people, but like I said, during a fishing tournament, guys, don't trust them. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. So, yeah, I can't wait to go to that captain's meeting. All right, only only because ooh, sorry about that. Only because Bill Solar is in the house, we're gonna shout him out. Uh, Bill Solar, guys, the man, the myth, the legend, who invented the solar panel. <laughs> wait, is this? Wait, who is this? Is this? Did I just see Boat Zone in here? Did I see Alex AK Bozone in here? Oh boy. Let's see what they do over here with this uh, sailboat. I don't know guys, wait for it.
the Jepo that pulled out taller without life vest. That's how stuff happens. What is going on over there, bro? Oh boy, we got a two stroke. We got a two stroke in the house. Oh boy. Oh yeah. So some Oh god, I just kicked my tripod. Oh my god, that would have been crazy, bro. The camera just went almost bye bye bye. Oh my goodness. Guys, I just almost knocked over my camera. Everything would have gone bloop, bloop, bloop. Disaster would have stricken us here at the boat ramp. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's, that's one of my fears, guys, that I'm here and I drop my camera gear. It's a valid concern, though. Come on, bro, I wanna see what you do over here. How do you get this thing in? So are you guys already where you're, wherever you're watching from? Is this still cold in some of you? It's, guys, it's scorching over here in Miami. Um, I don't know if you guys know that the weather is like 90 degrees out here right now, but it is. It's really, really hot. And uh, we, we began summer already. The kids are about to, to, to finish school in about maybe, I don't know, nine, eight days, maybe less. But uh, yeah, school's about to be finished. We got a little Suzuki powered boat coming through right now. So yeah, um, a lot of big things should happen in the summer, guys. It gives me a lot of flexibility when it comes to the kids so we can move around, you know? So over here in Florida, guys, it's we're live on YouTube right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put your engine down a little bit. And motor. He didn't. He didn't hear it. He told him. Put his engine down a little bit so he could launch. And get on plane. Oh man, we just missed it, bro. Damn it. I want to see the trailer of this. Ninety degrees already in Pennsylvania. Whew. Over here, guys. It's a little different, right? I'll tell you, I've been to Texas in summer. Uh, actually, it was, it, was a, it was a question that was brought up recently. Like, hey, look, let's, uh, I got an event in Texas. Do you want to go? And I was like, look, I love Texas, bro. But Texas in the summer? Oh, my God. Bye. Guys, Texas? Wow. I was there one year in the summer. And... Uh, it's, it's not like South Florida, right? We, we get like 90, 95, 98, maybe a little higher. But since we have so much humidity here, um, it doesn't feel terrible. It feels different for people that are not used to the humidity. So you, you feel like you can't breathe. Ladies, your hair will be a wreck. Like you literally go to South Beach, you do your hair, you look great. And all of a sudden you're like, damn, what the hell happened? I was, I was looking so good five minutes ago. And it's the humidity. So, but when you're from here, you're used to that. But when you get us in that dry, dry heat, oh boy, that thing feels like it's like burning you, literally. You feel like you're burning in the inside. Let's see what this guy's using. 
little eight horsepower. Um, well, Stu, let me tell you, I, where did I go? I broke down in an RV in Beaumont, Texas. And I'll tell you right now, there's people in Texas are very, very nice. People in South Carolina are super, super nice. And I'm not saying that they're nice, not nice in other places, guys, because, you know, when you're traveling, you kind of see who helps you and what, what upbringing. Like if you guys break down over here, you guys are, you guys break down in Miami, you guys are scarred. <laughs> You guys are going to be like, everybody in Miami is not nice. Um, look at the trailer. That's, that's how the trailer looks. Um, so, yeah, there's different parts of the country that are very, very hospitable and very, very nice and welcoming. And then there's places that, that some people are like, yo, I don't even want to stop here. I don't even want to break down here. But I did broke, it break down in Beaumont. And I didn't even break down. I went to a welcome center with the RV and I came back and the boat didn't start, the, the, the RV didn't start. I mean, everything was perfect. Nothing was wrong. I don't understand. I was like, why is this thing not starting? So, you know, I had like AAA for, for RVs and stuff like that. And they came and they're like, look, you know, it looks like your fuel lines are vapor locked. I was like, okay, so what does that mean? I'm just, I'm just trying to go to the Alamo, bro, you know? And uh, long story short, the guy went ahead and got two clothing lines. Um, you know, the, the little pins that you use for the clothing line to hang, you know, clothes, wood ones. He got under the RV and, and put them on my fuel lines. And he screamed from the bottom. He goes, try to start her up. And it started. And I was, I still to this day don't understand what the hell happened there or what he did. But I guess it somehow, some way it transfers the energy or the heat or the vapor or the vapor. I don't know. But he got me out on the road and I left those things on there till that thing died. Um, actually, it didn't die. I sold it. I sold it and um, <laughs> I got into a phase of like, like one of those old school cars and. I, I got a Corvair and I hooked it up and I, I, don't, I don't know, you know, in life, guys, you used to just get into all these weird stages as an adult male. Like, these people are still here, bro. John Brady Houston, too, and Cali. Um, 543 likes, guys. 543 likes. 1,100 uh, people in here. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and this is why we have 1,000 people. The other day, I was watching a stream from a smaller channel. Not, not boat-related stuff, but they hit trending. They hit trending on, uh, on the YouTube live feed. And before you know it, everybody was watching the stream. I would have thought there was going to be more people coming out today, to be honest with you. Um, I, I haven't gotten any alerts that the ramp is closed, so that's good. So if you guys are watching locally, you guys still have parking. So they haven't shut down the marina yet. In South Florida, guys, when there's no parking over here at the marinas, they shut them down. And there's a lot of, there's a, there's a, a lot of petitions going on, guys. So there's people doing petitions for... There's people doing uh, petitions for the sandbar. The captain of this boat finally got here. Um, it's the century curse, guys. I'm telling you, something happened. But um, yeah, they're doing a petition for the sandbar to save the sandbar. They're doing a petition to go ahead and try to get more boat ramps over here in South Florida because it's a supply and demand thing, right? There's a lot of people that want to hit up the water, but they can't. They can't uh, sometimes. You know, you come here at 8 in the morning on a busy weekend because the weather's good. And uh, they say, sorry, you got to go to the nearest marina. So everybody starts scrambling to the next marina, which is closest. In this case, it would be it would be Herbert Hoover, which is what we consider Bayfront. 
I recently filmed there um, a sunk boat, uh, a burnt boat actually, that uh, was a cool video to watch if you haven't seen it on my channel. It was uh, a boat that caught on fire. A lot of people coming in were telling me that it caught on fire. And I, um, I filmed it coming in and I filmed the whole process of how the barge took it off the boat with a crane. It was cool, it was a cool video. But yeah, so then they'll go to Herbert Hoover, and if Herbert Hoover is closed, then all of a sudden, you know, Mathis and Hammocks, which is a little bit more north, which is kind of like in a, in a wealthier area. So you have a different crowd over there, you know, they're just a little bit more upscale. So, you know, those people don't want people from Black Point over there. They're like, oh, hell no, bro. Just like the people from... <laughs> Everybody tells me, like, I did that video recently of Whiskey Creek over there in Hollywood, which is kind of like a little, man, it's a cool place to go chill. And uh, I literally started getting DMs. I've been there my whole life. You're going to ruin it for everybody. I'm like, bro, but everybody can have a place to go and chill and hang out. So, yeah, a lot of people were upset about that. Nah, I ain't chumming the crocs. Spe speaking of chumming, somebody told me that they have footage of somebody feeding him a giant chicken. Guys, don't do that. That's just going to be dangerous for everybody. And you're not supposed to do that. And you're going to get in trouble if they catch you. So, yeah, somebody fed Fred a chicken. Wow, there's a lot of people starting to come. We're live on YouTube. Qualified. <laughs> Qualified. Yeah. Oh boy. He's mentioning the the Instagram channel Qualified Captain, which uses uh, a lot of uh, content that's out on the internet of boat fails and crazy stuff that happens. Oh boy. So this guy right here is actually. What is going on here, guys? Wow, we have some people in Chicho Live already, bro. That's nuts. Kevin just said that gas prices are two thirty nine in Texas. Wow. Over here, like two eighty for regular. Maybe yeah, two eighty for like regular, depending on where you go. All right, this is the Sentry that's been holding on for a while. They finally finally got out. The tide is starting to come down, guys. So. It should be interesting here around maybe like one. How cool is it huh? when people start realizing, oh my God, he's live. All right, guys. What is going on here? There's a lot of people on this boat.
Now, for those of you guys that are watching this on the 4K version, because right now you guys are seeing the stream, what I'll eventually do is I will restream, I'll actually re-upload this video in 4K, because right now you guys are seeing it a little bit somewhat non-clear because you know we're streaming this as it's happening so so those of you guys that are enjoying this in 4k you know know that this was a live stream and now it's not now it's for you it's a 4k video that's nice and sharp and crisp so the the, the cellular networks come in and out of here guys while this is happening so sometimes they get a little bit better a little bit worse depending on what happens here at the boat ramp so far, I mean, it's not it's not completely glitching out, so that's kind of good. I don't know, I might be speaking too early. A lot of people over here in the in the other ramps. All right, we got somebody coming out. Oh, these guys are coming out with the with the whaler. They're coming out of the marina, though. So to my left, guys, if you guys are first time here, to my left, they go to Biscayne Bay. And if they're coming to the right, it ends. Oh, shit. What the hell? Two, oh, two birds are going at it, guys. What the hell? What a beatdown. Damn. You guys hear that? Dude, they, they went ahead and, and crashed here. Wow. What the hell? I thought I thought something was getting jacked up. Damn, I lost my train of thought, bro. Look at the sailboat. This is about to leave too. Another whaler is coming out as well. Well, these guys are armed to the teeth, man. Look at this. They got they got all their rods ready to go. You guys want to see how windy, look at the flag, how windy it is. It's a windy day, so that's probably why we're not seeing more people, to be honest with you. There's a, this is a very busy boat ramp, but the reason you're not seeing more people is because of that. It's kind of windy. Guys, I am so humbled to say that we have consistently over a thousand people in the stream right now, and that's huge. Look, they're bringing out the floaty. The floaty is in the way, guys. They're gonna have to sacrifice the the floaty. It was fun while it lasted, floaty. It was fun. Oh, never mind. It's going to the bow of the boat, so the driver doesn't have no visibility. little angler coming out a lot of you guys were asking me um, what was going on with the sunk glass stream I tried to reach out the sunk glass stream is a boat that was sunk here guys and it was a chit show to say the least well a boat sank they threatened my life a couple times and in the process, I helped the owner restart the engines. They were sunk, the two sunk 300 Verados. And if you guys haven't seen a lot of my background, I was on a boat doing a review, going really, really fast on another, another, make, make sure you guys know that word, another 300 Verado, twin Verados. 
and the engine falls off I was as we were going full speed and I was filming. So that was a chit show. So that's called fluid rib boat. If you type in fluid rib boat or, or, or sunk Verado series, you will see that video. Long story short, we, refi we, we fixed it. We got it, incredible footage, underwater footage, everything is crazy. And then we kind of did a real cool video here at Black Point helping the gentlemen of the glass stream, which were two sunk 300 Verados. So we fixed those. And uh, recently we got a sunk dinghy, which there's new information about as well. So that's gonna be interesting. Probably in the next week or so, we'll have a little bit of inside of what's gonna happen with that sunk thingy. So that's already materializing as we speak. But I cannot divulge anything right now yet. But soon, hopefully soon. We got somebody coming back. What, what's going on here? Where's this guy coming back from? Looks like the sailboat's about to leave. It's not the same sailboat that got taken out last week, guys. Um, I was amazed how that boat did not have any issues when it got hit by that other boat. That was crazy, guys. Damn, I lost, I lost my chat section, why? Damn, I lost you guys, bro. Oh, look at Dale, bro. Come on, Dale. Bro, Dale. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh, oh no, 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 no. Guys, Dale just dropped, oh my God, what the hell was that? The startup, did you hear that? Um, Dale just dropped another freaking hundred dollars, bro. Dude, I, oh, speaking of that, Dale, you know, last week, guys, there's been a lot of supporters of the channel, and, uh, Dale last week had said, hey, get yourself a ribeye or something like that, and I did. Um, and I should be eating a little bit less meat, but, you know, just to stay a little healthier, but I love me a good old ribeye, a nice Rocky Patel, and a little bit of scotch. Woo! The joys of life. Oh boy. Guys, a lot is happening right now. He's got the little Tahatsu. Whatever it takes, my friends. Oh boy. Things are getting hot. The block is getting hot, my friends. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it! We're live on YouTube right now. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome how you guys watch the uh, content with, uh, with your spouses. It's, it's crazy. 
Oh, this boat is deed up. Look at this. There's a lot of people on this one. I don't know. I think I think we should stick around here, guys. There's there's something going on over here. Something going on. That's crazy, bro. Dale, you're crazy, bro. Look, people are just here hanging out, passing. They're like confused. I'm confused too. They're videoing something on the bottom there. Why? Why? Oh, maybe they're having an issue. tell you is when it started up it was like it was out there there's not many more boats over here and these guys are over there waiting to come out too twelve hundred people bro 1,200 people watching the chit show, guys. Hey, guys, I'm telling you guys, a lot of you guys are new. Trust me when I tell you, a lot of you guys are new. And if you like boat, ramp, chit show, literally crazy stuff, check out my channel. There's a whole playlist for you guys to get up to speed. We've been doing this since 2020 in the beginning of the Rona. The Rona! Oh, no, the Rona's going to get everybody. Oh, no! When it was like that, that everybody was, like, scared, everybody be like, where were you yesterday? Where were you five minutes ago? Who are you interacting with? When you were all suspicious of everybody? Yeah, we've been doing the chicho since then. So, I think little, little by little people are less suspicious of people now, right? Now you can be like, all right. The first question that people ask you nowadays is like, hey, have you been vaccinated? And, uh, and you should reply, well, how long have you had herpes? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. So yeah, guys. It's interesting to see how that's all materializing. I saw that happen, actually. I saw two people interacting, older people, and that's the first thing they said. They, they wanted to talk and communicate, and the first thing they said is, are you, are you vaccinated? One said yes, the other one said yes, and then they got closer to each other. So it was so weird to see that happen. It was just like, it was, it was a pre prerequisite of being friends. I don't know, it was weird. So, but having that said, um, the vaccine has actually helped um, minimize a lot of the cases that have been happening in the U.S. And hopefully, guys, hopefully by uh, July 4th, we'll have uh, no mask, you know, hopefully, or, or a good segment of our population, you know, with herd immunity as far as people who have gotten it, and these guys are finally coming out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh my God, he's gonna take out the front. He's gonna take out the front. He's gonna take out the front. It's gonna happen. Oh, oh no, is it gonna happen? Is it gonna hit? He's barely, oh, he just barely made it. Wow, he was about to hit it. Wait for it. Oh boy, oh boy. He can't see nothing, guys. But, but, he's gonna have a good time. ¿Dónde van, bro? ¿A dónde van? A Boca Chita. Ah, ah sí. Oh my God. Esto era estaba adelante. Oh my God. So he said that he was. He said he was the person. 
¿Cómo están, cabrero? ¡Mega TV mañana! No, 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 no. I just, I just shot out a, a Spanish-speaking station over here, guys. Um, but there it is. The gentleman what was saying in Spanish before that had just recently left, he said, uh, wow, this is like a first, right? Look at this. Sunday morning, it's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, the ramps are completely freaking empty, bro. They're all waiting to watch the Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather fight tonight. I can't wait to watch it, guys. Comment below who you think is going to win. Oh, we got a... We got somebody coming in. So that other gentleman was saying that he was parked in front. Oh boy, wait for it. Tide is starting to come a, a little bit. Um, oh boy. So he was saying that he was the boat that was in front of the Curse Robalo that crashed into the dock. Oh boy, what is going on here? Oh boy, my shoes are gonna get wet for sure, 100%. Wait for it. Guys, I'm going to stream until we lose battery. And that could be, I don't know. There's multiple things that are going on here. My live streaming equipment will probably lose battery. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So here's the thing. We will be losing battery, guys. Um, on the live stream uh, equipment so I want to go ahead and be on camera so you guys can see uh, what 6 5 225 shredded amazing ribeye that I'm gonna eat right now because I have an excuse because all the super chats and all the crazy stuff that you guys have done and I got some cigars that were given to me guys hold on wait a second wait a second my friends Wait one second. Wait one second, my friends. Oh. So look, this is happening live, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching the stream. I got more stuff coming out. Um, my name is Alfred Montaner. Guys, I had a bad weekend. I ate a little bit too much. I'm not 6'5 right now, but I will be this afternoon, 6'5, 225 shredded. And hold on, let me see what you guys say while I'm here. I have a Discord that I'm making so we can... What's up, guys? We're live. We just finished right now. We'll see you guys around. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Hey, keep it up, ladies. We need more female followers. We need more women following. That's why I got to get hot, guys. I got to get hot so I can get... I mean, I got like 8% women watching my channel. This is pathetic. So, um, uh, Sean, James, JR, guys, listen, uh, thank you so much for everything. We're, we're doing it here, over here at Black Point. So, if you're not subscribed, subscribe below or here or wherever. If you're watching the Restream in 4K, check out all the other videos if it's new to you. There's a whole playlist. I put all the videos in one playlist. What you have to do is you got to go to the video section of my channel. And you're gonna see I break down the playlist, like the Sunk Verado series, the Chicho uh, sandbar videos, boat uh, reviews and walking tours and stuff like that. So check that out on my channel. Um, I'm out of here. Um, and uh, stay tuned to my community tab. We're gonna go ahead and, and put that Discord so we can continue chatting after the fact when we're not live here, okay? And uh, it's, for me, it's about community, and you guys have proven to me that that's what it's about. I mean, I don't chase views, guys, on YouTube. Let me go ahead and end the video how we always end our videos. And, uh, and we will. And there will be more content, too. Remember, we'll, uh, we'll do it again. My name is Alfred Montana. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Amazingness, that's what we do. Get ready, 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 boom!